I'm Lynn Langett, and I'm going to show you a feature of Data Quality Services in SQL Server 2012 that um, took me a while to figure out, and uh, uh, I want to show you how I got it working. It's called um, Cleanse to KB, and the concept is that you have a, a data cleansing project um, over here in Data Quality Projects, and I've got one around the sample movie database, so I'm just going to open it up and that your domain expert has done some um, good work around um, improving the quality of data that not only might be useful for the original source data but might be so useful you want to actually import it, the results of it back into the original KB. So um, how this seems to work is, and I've got a very very simple uh, sample here with just director and title, and let's say that your, uh, your expert has made some corrections here under the titles and said things like, uh, you know, this 39 pounds of love and 39 pounds of lug should be uh, 39 pounds. Like they've, 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 uh, you know, they've said, hey, that's wrong. Or it's a, it's a free world um, has been corrected by the system, but shrooms and shrooms has been modified by the user. So you've made, you made some corrections. Now again, um, you might want to go in and, and make another correction. You might say um, 10 items or less, and this is rejected here. I'm going to go ahead and reject it and uh, then put in a new value and I'm actually making a correction to this 10,000 BC and I'm going to now change it to the words 10,000 BC and say next and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to uh, finish which will publish this, uh, make this available and now I'm going to go back over to my KB and I'm going to do domain management and I'll pause the video while it comes up. Now here I am inside of my um, knowledge base management. I'm doing domain management. So in my cleansing, I had some good work done around title. So I want to bring that back into my core KB for movies. So I can now do that because I go to title and I go to domain values. And in addition to importing uh, valid values from Excel, I now have the availability to import project values. So I can click on that and I can see this clean up the movies project and I have imported it once so uh, let's see what happens when I try and import it again I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to get an importing project values and it's going to lock the knowledge base and I'm going to pause the video until the import completes and now you can see up here that the import has completed and there's uh, three values here um, that my uh, subject matter uh, expert uh, corrected in the, um, in the um, uh, the cleansing process and these are now going to be available back in my core KB so you can see the 39 pounds is correct um, and this was a duplicate and the same thing the shrooms and shrooms is actually incorrect but it should be corrected to this value so if I click finish that's going to import this new information and I'll show you show only new is, is set up here and then it will publish that out to my to my KB so um, it's a really kind of a handy uh, way to leverage, um, and there it's published, to leverage activity that has been done by your subject matter expert in the data quality project and bring it back over in. Now one thing I did notice on this is this only seems to work for um, cleansing, not for any matching that's done. Again, I haven't been able to find any documentation. I'll be taking a look around for that and I'll add it to my blog entry, um, but it seems to be that you use this cleansing project, make your manual changes, um, finish this project and then it's available um, for uh, inclusion in domain management through import. So it's kind of a neat feature. I want to take a minute and show you. So again, I'm Lynn Langett and for more information about all things data, you want to go to www.lynnlangett.com.